Hi everyone, I'm Tina. This is To The Inner Wild. Thanks for joining. Today we're doing the Orchids Arcanum Tarot. How have you been? Oh me? I've been... I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. Yesterday was a good jump start um, of an evening walk. After neglecting to spend time outside for my health, I, what was I saying? Sorry. I don't know what's up with me. But that walk did me good. So there are things that I need to take care of on my list. The angels know it. They've kind of put up their hand at me again. And... You know, that's tough love. Like, I I already know what I need to do. <laughs> and yet, I still keep avoiding it. So, I am my own worst enemy today. Or, I have been for the past few days. It's not, not near at my best. So, today, um, I don't know when I'm going to be posting this because I tend to run a month late when things stack up. So, it might be Halloween by the time I post this. But today, it is September 24th, 2020. It is a Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. And this shirt, I, ne I never, I, I never wear it. I've had this since, gosh, uh, 18, 19 years. <laughs> and I've worn this maybe five times. And this being the fifth time. And so, you know, before I kind of say goodbye to it, I just figured I'd give it another whirl for the season. Tis the season. And, uh, yeah, you know, usually I just feel uncomfortable in it. But I like the stuff. I figured it's, it's fun, right? I feel like it's fun. Uh, look at the bottom of the deck. It is nine, three, six. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Huh. Nine of Wands is boundaries. Enforcing them, being a part of it, uh, an active role, taking an active role in seeing that boundaries need to be set up. And what I'm seeing here, because I couldn't remember what the Eight of Wands, I don't know why I just kind of blanked out, but the Eight of Wands is about like fast communication, fast movement. And so it always comes in like darts, but in the, in the Rider Waite Smith, um, decks and so with this one they're upright and it gives the impression of the ten of wands it's a burden carrying this burden of communication because that ninth wand is right here with the woman who is blocking the communication and she's on defenses so they're kind of working together in this sorry my nails are nasty <laughs> this nine of wands energy they're both contributing to it. So they're both contributing to this burden. <laughs> to each other's and their own burden. Oh my gosh. When does when does it stop? When can we end this madness? <laughs> so anyway, he wants to communicate something that is such a burden, but she's blocking the communication. She's on defenses. It's not like she is I guess she could be ignorant. I mean, he hasn't. She hasn't heard his side yet. But at the same time, she's got a gist. She's got a gist of what's coming. You know, to carry a wand like that—that's that's heavy. Yeah. Okay, I got caught off by an unknown phone call. How weird is that? I've never seen a caller ID as unknown. So anyway, Nine of Wands in the book for this particular deck is, what does it focus on? The limits of possibility are reached. Where is it? Yes, here you go. The limits of possibility are reached because the demands are increased and can only be met by making excessive physical efforts. Trivialities use up too much energy so that it is hardly possible to move forward. Mm, both are being kind of 
petty, like treating the situation in a shallow aspect. You know, if you have another interpretation of this, if you are a tarot reader or whatever, or, you know, I'd like to hear it too. Maybe there's something that I'm not seeing. But, um, yeah, triviality is our, um, is pettiness. A superior way of saying pettiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use up too much energy. Mm. Okay, so that's the bottom of the deck on that. I'm, I'm going to hold it aside and see if there's any messages. Because did that one spit out? No, it was at the bottom of the deck that I was curious about. So I'm not going to take that as a header card. Oop. All right, spirit, ancestors, yes, you too. Sorry, I don't want to get chunks at a time. I was made well aware that, in, in a nice way, okay, that it's less than 100 days till Christmas. It's like, what? Tina, you got to shape up. Seriously. Seriously. Like, it's not even funny anymore. This is like, I need to do the 360. And I have to make it feel as much of a cartwheel as possible. Like, kind of happy. Like, you're a kid. Like, I hope I don't break anything. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Oh, Five of Pentacles. What the heck is going on? So, Five of Pentacles. The story that it tells me, the way it looks intuitively is, okay, this Five of Pentacles is being destitute in poverty feeling left out in the cold as it is usually known as so there is ridicule you see here this is the whole community right this is the church the way it usually is is that uh somebody's actually left out in the cold it's snowing and the five of pentacles is embedded in like a window uh, what is it stained glass window Mm -hmm. And the light shines through it in a way that it, within that community, basically, it uh, shines a bright light to kind of outcast the cold that's going on outside. So there's a person outside feeling left out in the cold. Now this, in this particular case, I see the Three of Pentacles energy, which is a sense of um, partnership and building to something together. It is a community, which I feel like, in essence, since they're in the same building, that that's the inside of the community. But truly, there's ridicule from the community to this partnership here. Whoever this may be represented to you, um, by you. It feels like there are people who, you know, you, you normally would consider a community, a sense of community, almost not just shunning you, but in the face of ridicule. And so they're saddened because they, they're balancing this two of pentacles energy. And they find community within each other, but at the same time, it's sad because of what the world thinks, what this sense of community thinks okay <laughs> but the thing is is that no matter how dark it is in the forefront at the even preceding this sense of community is still abundance we have one two three four five daisies And right here we have, I think, these are poppies or... Mm. There's three to note. But then right here, uh, what it says in the book is, I like the way this deck is set up, this booklet, because it goes by numbers rather than... Mm, whole suits at a time categorizing it by number rather than suits 
So five of discs is a confrontation with unpleasant financial or other losses provoked by unexpected expenses or fees and taxes not paid in time. The bare necessities for survival remain, but the resulting distress will seem oppressive and monumentous. Oh, momentous. Could mean, it could be mon monumentous too. That's kind of scary. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Shh. Okay. All right. So I want to be able to give you the difference in meanings, the actual card mm, deck presented from its author, its creator, Z and uh, the Rider White Smith. So, oh, the bottom of the deck it was the star in reverse. Ugh. Which is not coming true yet, or is it delayed? Mm, right here. The star is number 17, which is, so, the star maid is sitting in the lake shore on a cold night and lets new water of life flow out of her two vessels, some into the soil and some, oh, this is Rider White Smith, okay. Um, some into the soil and some into the water of the lake, an outward balance of the elements. The star itself is a light and a point of reference in the dark, which represents the hope of getting to a distant, difficult to reach destination. The crane in the foreground is trying to fathom hidden wisdom. Intuition! And right beneath it is the moon in reverse, too. No, it's, it's got to be just a new deck, yeah? Oh, my hair is too tight. Oh. Okay, so it characterizes an important influence on life in the form of a person or idea, bestowing new motivation and driving force, and thereby encouraging one to make new efforts. However, this influence is only pointing the way. Powers which have been hidden and not noticed until now make new efforts possible and give new impulses by showing a way through the dark. Thus, a new perspective is revealed and de a destination crystallizes, which can also be understood in the sense of destiny. Oh my goodness. This bestows new vital energies in as much as the sources of energy come from combining confidence and optimism. This is what is meant by hope. Okay, that's what it means in upright. What? But right now, it's in reversal. It characterizes an important influence on life in the forms of a person or idea, bestowing new innovation and driving force and thereby encouraging one to make new efforts. However, this influence is only pointing that way. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Okay, you saw? Because I think I'm supposed to read this intuitively. And for those that it doesn't resonate with, uh, goes by maybe book versions. There's a reason to why I'm doing this both ways. So, we've got that. Conflict with, within each other. It's both a burden as far as the communication. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Five of Pentacles in the face of ridicule amongst community once they do actually balance things out and communicate cohesively, yeah, in union, mm -hmm. in spite of all of this. So they're feeling destitute in poverty, uh, left in the cold, even within the same confines, the same building, the same mm, environment. But there's still abundance to be had, right? This is closest to us. So that for 12 12, oh my gosh. <laughs> the implication of this is what really matters. This is mm, at the forefront. This is what precedes this, whatever's stuck in the middle here, the obstacle. Mm -hmm. The challenge. It doesn't have to be an obstacle, it doesn't have to be a conflict. So then, anyway. Is a star, which is about destiny. If we had it in the reverse, which it, I think in the major arcana they do reversals, but in when it comes to the minor arcana, they do they only do upright. So anyway, this is a card of 
doing by fulfilling your own personal signed up for destiny what you need to bring forth as far as your individual talents to make that seen and known basically validate self self love first and then it turns it to this upright version of that abundance fulfilling one's destiny and it feels like the way they described it is in the upright new perspective is revealed yeah, destination crystallizes, which is understood as a sense of destiny. This bestows new vital energies in as much as the sources of energy coming from combined confidence and optimism. That is what it's meant by hope. And so they turn their frowns upside down, basically. That's really cool. All right. So let's get some kundalini blessings. Because I feel like we need some... Oh, jeez. Okay. I gotta go digging. I found it with some fuzzies. Let's see. Spirit, which card for the collective whole? Give them the story. The storyline. Okay. So we got. Clearing. Eight. Call in an angel and ask for help. Number eight. Oh, look. See the infinity sign as well as depicted on the two of pentacles energy. Usually. And yes, and then their depiction of wisdom. Right there. That's at the forefront. And always in the front, it looks like there's a consistent reference to abundance in different forms and the back is the background is basically the backdrop the backstory the supporting features of their situation mm -hmm. so here the thicket of the forest is behind her so in a sense there is a mystery behind her that's her energy. And for him, I think it's abundance, but it's also struggle. Do you see that? His face. And then here, encased in the same area, environment as the rest, but it's dark. It's almost dungeon like. And then here, stars, wishes, hopes, dreams. And then the North Star. Eight of Pentacles energy, right? So to me, that is the Seven of Pentacles plus the Eight. The implication of working towards mm, your hopes, like not giving up on it, um, on them, right? You look at this. The Seven is basically nurturing and looking over your abundance and in growth while it's in growth and then the eighth is perfecting mastering your your craft your hobby your area of interest the transition between seven to eight and your hopes and dreams and um are this is an action card of manifestation and this brings truth uh the crane bird messenger sign of hope as well in newfound wisdom newfound perspective right and flight yes the workings on its own give this energy of a rainbow that you experience in that movement it's not just depicting the action part of it but the result so that's that call in an angel and ask for help okay i feel like we should get one more card from this let's go with that one source eight again conception gestation or birth okay so it is the materialization of something that you are growing Yes, eight, 
mastering, mm -hmm. improving. Mm -hmm. And that's cool because we have two eights already, which it's an implication of balance for both of these people. Or it could be, in greater perspective, a balance between both, right? There's a card that we're not seeing in the transition in between the growth process from here to there. This is just recent and upcoming energy comparative to fast forward what this what this used to be. Uh, let's go ahead and look at is it green and then red. Green and red. I think that's Archangel Michael. I think so. 2112. Oh my goodness. Okay. What we just pulled, conception, gestation, or birth. One of the hardest sources to understand is the trauma-associated damage that occurs to the fetus at the time of conception, during pregnancy, or the moment of birth. That is very true. If there is no true emotional intimacy between the birth parents at the moment of conception, the child will grow into adulthood, searching for intimacy everywhere outside of itself, setting up relationship difficulties that will continue throughout one's life. Yes, resentment and fear felt by the mother during this pregnancy is transferred to the infant as well. Yeah, very true. In fact, a woman who makes a conscious decision to give her baby up for adoption begins the process of emotional separation from that child as soon as the decision is made. And leaving the child and later the adult missing important lessons concerning the primary emotions and skills that are needed for interpersonal relationships. I just saw 2220. So maybe that's part of why this lady holds her wand up so fiercely. So be gentle with yourself. Because mm -hmm. some of these things you can't really talk about to another human being. So that's probably why this is up here. Call in for an angel and ask for help. We shall see. This is a green card, which is... You can ask your guardian angel or one of the archangels. They're always waiting to assist us, but they never interfere unless we call upon them. They are overjoyed to help us when we ask. Yes. Yes. Do we have one more in here? Yeah, because if you are seeking solace, with this other individual here. 